I wrote a little booklet called Why We Use the King James Version of the Bible. I noticed that some of them are in the bookstore. That booklet was written and then mimeographed. How many of you remember mimeographs, okay? And uh, ink on your hands and everywhere else too. I mimeographed it and gave it out to all of our members back in the early days when churches were switching Bibles. And then I rewrote it and then I sent it out on email and then a man from Vermont, a pastor said, that ought to be published uh, because churches could use it to explain to people in simple, understandable terms uh, why we're sticking with the old Bible. So we did that and it has gotten out there and I didn't really say that for advertising. But to let you know this, uh, it is a very simple little booklet. Uh, that pretty average people can understand. And it's a good thing because if it was intellectual and, you know, scholarly, I wouldn't understand it. And uh, there, the basic issues about this whole thing and about the Bible we have in our hand are understandable by anyone who has faith. And so we're going to be having a good time. It's not going to be just plowing through a lot of uh, uh, deep and difficult information, not one bit. And we're going to start here at Deuteronomy chapter 31. 